So we're gonna talk about a drum lick uh, that is really credited to Tony Williams. It's one of those, every now and then there's, there's several, you know, stickings or licks that they just, they sound awesome. Every, and when, every time somebody hears them, I'm like, oh, that is amazing, right? And the Blushda is one of those. And so um, let's kind of break out exactly what it is. Um, and uh, I will just say, Steve Holmes did an amazing video on this. The original was back in the day. Uh, I'm gonna link it below this because I can't hope to make a video better than his on this uh, this particular drum lick. Uh, but it is the blush. So go watch his and then check this out and then come up with your own thing. That's what I really want you to do is come up with your own thing. Uh, now the first time I heard it was really kind of give you a little context because you really need to know musically where it came from. Tony Williams is credited with this. Um, although you'll hear tons of players, Todd Suckerman. Steve Smith, Gary Novak, um, uh, tons of players play this, Vinny. Uh, and so uh, one of the recordings, really the first recording I ever heard it on, because I actually did the Nefertiti piece for my senior jury in college, um, was the Nefertiti album. He does play it on it, it's an amazing album. But also you can hear it, uh, and I'm just gonna put a couple of clips here of where you can hear this. You can hear this on, uh, I believe it's from his Lifetime album, Tony Williams, uh, Proto Cosmos, around the 323 mark. I'll play that for you and you can hear that here. Another tune is one that Vinny plays on Aliens Rip My Face Off, and I believe Steve Holmes also credits this one, and it's right around the 428 mark. And then we have Gary Novick on Chick Corea's Time Warp album, and it's all over the, the song New Life. It's at like the 125 mark on the snare. It's the one, it's, it's a 658 mark. Todd Suckerman uses it. Uh, he calls it the Tommy Gun of licks, right? Eric Moore, you can hear him using it. I believe he's got a lesson on it. Um, and uh, he puts a kick with it. So tons of combinations, uh, but you always have to look at the history and the lineage. And really we wanna take it and do something of our own with it. It is more of an advanced sticking because it includes flams, it includes singles, it includes doubles. So there's a lot going on um, with it and I'll break it out, but please just take it and make it your own. All right, so the basic sticking of this, is we can we can do it like a like a, a, a flam accent if you will so flam accent now we can also do a same hand flam accent So those stickings will be important because we're gonna take those and use that uh, with this. So with the first flam, we have a flam, and then you can use that flam as open as you want or you can close the flam up. Flams are kinda up to, uh, you know, to, up to the dealer at the time. So we're going to, let's play this a right-handed blush. Just so we're gonna play the flam, a diddle in the left hand, and then the right, so. So it's a three note sticking. We can do it with a left handed lead. And then you can also do alternating. So what I would suggest is playing it with a check pattern. A check pattern is just a subdivision, so like triplets, one measure of the triplets and then one measure of blush just. If we played that with a shuffle, one, two, three. So that's the simplified version of it. Now, really the key to getting it to come out is getting, getting those accents in this hand.
Once we get those going, then we really get the feel that you'll hear Tony and Vinny play this with. After we get that, then we just want to take it and we want to start to move one of them around the kit. So let's take the grace note on the flam. Let's move that to the tom first. So that's a really simple application. Another thing we can do is we can, we can move uh, the primary note, that first and that third note. We can move the flam with it. You can begin to open up the flam and the flam begins to sound more like 30 second notes. Once you get that, then you can actually start moving the grace note to uh, a cymbal, which is a really cool sound. Put the kick drum with it. So lots of different ways to begin to move it around. And really that's the first step is just getting it in that format, moving it around a little bit with triplets and getting to understand that. Then we can come in and we can uh, play it with something like, uh, let's say 16th notes. So if we play it with 16th notes, obviously we have this kind of this polyrhythmic push and pull that's happening, right? So it's a three note sticking over a four note subdivision. So if we have 16th notes here, Two, three, four. So at the end, we just have four single notes. Four blushes and then one at the end. Now you can do it with a left hand lead. You can do it with an alternating. And all of those I would then put into a drum fill and just try to put them with a groove. That's a really simple application of it, correct? Then we can take it and begin to put it with other things that we know. Now, we know with that, we can have, we really have two different stickings. We have a four note sticking, right, left, right, left, and then we have four blushes. So we can also rearrange that within the measure to be two blushes, four sixteenth notes, two blushes. So you can kind of take those couple of simple pieces and begin to rearrange them. And the point is, is to make this your own, to integrate it with the rest of your playing. Now let's go ahead to something a little bit more advanced. Let's take three different stickings and put them together. We're still on a, let's use a 16th note uh, pattern. Let's use 16th note grid. So we'll do a kick, we'll have a blushda, and then we'll have this sticking right, left, left. So a kick, 
is one sticking, bludged is the other sticking, and a right, left, left. Now, I can combine those any way I want to make 16th notes, but just so it's simple, let's say kick, bludged, right, left, left, bludged, right, left, left, bludged. So it's gonna go like this. And we could very easily put the right, left, left, the right one here. Now the fun comes in when we start to rearrange those pieces. So as long as you have three bludges, two right, left, lefts, and a kick, you have 16 notes. We can rearrange them. I call this chunking whenever I'm teaching. We can rearrange them in any order that we want to. So we can put the kick first, and let's just say we put the three bludges first, and the right, left, left, right, left, left. So that's gonna sound like this. So that's one way that we can rearrange them. Let's say we do a uh, kick, a blush, uh, uh, two right, left, left, a blush, a blush. So. Uh, we can we can do them in any order we want to. Whenever it comes to that, we can do a kick, two blushes, right, left, left, right, left, left, blushed. So it's gonna go. We can do the kick, right, left, left, right, left, left, three blushes. So what we have there is we have three different chunks and we can take those and rearrange them. Now, like I said, what I like for you to do, for anyone to do with anything you learn, whether it be rudiments or new sticking, any of that, is to make this your own. So one way that I love to make it my own is uh, to put a kick in front of it so you can go like this. Another way to do it is to, to play two blushes and put a kick after that. You can diddle that kick like I just did there. Uh, another way is to put a flam, so two blushes and a flam. Now we can take that and put into a drum fill. Let's say we have two blushes, let's play it here. Then we're gonna play that flam here, that next flam here.
Now, if we do that, we have four blushes and we also have a flam. So that's going to make four, uh, three, 12, 13, 16 notes. So we're gonna have three 16th notes left over if we're looking at that. So what I like to do is I like to put two 16th notes there so it'd be a right, left, and then we end on the uh of four. So we kind of make it a little bit wonky. So it's gonna go. And to me, that gets kind of funky whenever we start to speed that up. Now remember, we always need to be counting. We need to make sure that the subdivisions are there. And we need to make sure that even though we're trying to do a more complex sticking, that the timing is correct. We don't want our timing to get off with this stuff. So make sure you're paying attention to that. But let me play this. Uh, and you'll see that sometimes I'm doubling that kick before the lick. And that even makes, because the lick kind of starts on the uh of that four. And then you're coming out on the uh. Now you can crash, you can hit the, the short hi-hat, whatever that may be. Uh, so I'll just kind of demonstrate that. And there you have it, the drum lick that never ceases to impress the Blushda. Use it with care, make it your own, add some stuff to it, take some stuff away, take it around the kit. Uh, that's what I would like to see do, you do with it. Now, the sheet music is below in a pinned comment as well as in the video description, so please go download that. It is 100% free. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications. I'm bringing new videos every week. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you have a favorite combination with this, Please let me know what that is. I read all of those and try to respond to as many as I can as well. Hit that thumbs up button. Share it with somebody that you may think it may help as well. But no matter what you do, I'll see you here in the next video.